Sorry. SMS or texting has become an integral part of day-to-day -day life without us even understanding how complex this simple act is. So why not join us while we look a little more in depth on how this process works? As our story starts, we see our intrepid actor composing a message on his phone. Once he hits send, we will follow the various processes his text encounters on its short yet interesting journey. As our message leaves the mobile phone, it is transmitted via radio waves along the air interface to the closest BTS. Once this message has been received, it is passed along the ABIS interface until it reaches the BSC. This system controls functions like assigning radio channels or moving signals from one tower to another. The BSC's other function is to condense the many signals that pass through it, thus reducing the overall amount of traffic that enters the main network. As our message leaves the BSC, it moves onto the air interface and travels into the heart of the network known as the MSC. On arrival, our message is stored within the SMSC while the subscriber's details are validated using the following two databases. The VLR can be seen as a copy of the main HLR database containing the IMSI, MSISDN and subscription details of users who are currently using that particular MSC's services. The MSC then examines the EIR database to see if the device has been stolen or cloned. Once this information has been confirmed, our message can move on to the final part of its journey. At this point, the MSC asks the HLR for the recipient's location using the phone number which is saved within our message. Once this information has been received, the message is released and passed through the transit layer to the appropriate MSC, which then forwards it to the nearest BSS that is in range of the recipient where the message finally reaches its destination.